Harvard's money isn't making Harvard enough money, at least according to the critics. The world's richest university trailed the pace set by some competitors this year. Harvard reported 15.4 percent in returns on endowments for 2014, which, according to the student newspaper, the Harvard Crimson, falls behind MIT, Dartmouth, the University of Pennsylvania, and a few others' returns on endowments. And some aren't thrilled about that. Bloomberg quotes a hedge fund CEO as saying it's mediocre yet again. With the good people they have and the money to pay for the best, they should deliver better performance. But it's not necessarily all bad news. The value of endowment grew to $36.4 billion, which is near its record high of $36.9 billion in 2008, before the school lost an estimated $11 billion, courtesy of the financial crisis. And posting anything positive is, well, a positive for Harvard, as the school searches for a replacement for Jane Mandillo, the president and chief executive officer of Harvard Management Company, who will step down at the end of the year. In a press release from Harvard, Mandillo said she was pleased by the return and mentioned that 15.4 percent return exceeded the company's benchmark. Yale University yielded the best return on endowment among the four Ivy League schools to release numbers so far, boasting a 20.2 percent return. For the record, colleges typically need to earn at least 9 percent on each year's investments to increase the endowment because they spend about 5 percent and you have to keep up with inflation. So, you know, it's not like any school on these lists is hurting.